Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham has officially declared a state of emergency for the Chavez County area. The county was pounded by nearly six inches of rain over the weekend, most of which broke a more than 100 year old record in Roswell. More than 300 people have been rescued by the National Guard and New Mexico State Police have confirmed that two people died in the flooding. The state of emergency unlocks a million dollars in state funding to help relief efforts in and around Roswell. Good afternoon. Flooded with nearly six inches of rain in just five hours. Roswell now picking up the pieces after a massive weekend storm. And while the high water is gone, city leaders say there is still a danger. News 13's Jessica Baron is in downtown Roswell with how the city is working to assess that damage. More than a day after the storm rolled through here, Roswell, you can still see so much of the damage left behind. If you look down, you can still see one truck that's stuck here in the spring water. And then if you look to the other side, you can see multiple cars stacked on top of the bridge. People we spoke to today say they've never seen a storm like this before. This was unlike any other, any other time that we've seen. Shock and disbelief in Roswell as people look over the damage caused by a major flash flood Saturday night into Sunday morning. While many are trying to clean up or salvage what's left, Adan Leva is among those who say it's hard to believe what happened. This is sad. This is sad. We have a bunch of businesses. Um, our entrance to our, you know, history, art and everything it just got ruined. So it is pretty, pretty sad. It is pretty sad to see this. The storm brought as much as seven inches of rain to some areas around Roswell, making it the wettest day in the city's recorded history. The New Mexico National Guard says floodwaters carried cars away, leading to two deaths and more than 500 rescues. Today, the Guard says it's using the break in weather to determine what all is damaged. The water has receded a lot. Actually, in the last two days, it's, it's, it's receded quite a bit. Um, there is toward the east of town um, where we're going to start to assess now that there is a possibility of the uh, Pecos River kind of going over a little bit. So we're, we're assessing that damage. Although the water's gone down, the city is asking people to stay off the roads as much as possible because of lingering safety concerns. The flooding to the extent and force that we had uh, affects bridges that are part of our street system and uh, can affect their structural integrity and safety. So we want people to stay off those bridges. Despite the damage for a historic storm, people in Roswell are staying optimistic, focusing on recovering. What's to come? We're going to get back up on our feet. You know what I mean? Uh, this community is very, very tight, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna come up on top. People who have trash in their yards are being asked to place it on the curb for special collection by the city. The Roswell bus system says for now they're suspending fares until further notice. In Roswell, Jessica Barron, CareQE News 13. And a large group of volunteers, city leaders and others expected at a community meeting in Roswell tonight.